In plain English, they're saying, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, central bank uh, have been cutting rates uh, all around the world. Yesterday alone, we had the Central Bank of New Zealand cut uh, by a surprise amount of 50, the Central Bank of India, the Central Bank of Thailand, the US Federal Reserve cutting interest rates last week. And this follows on a raft of rate cuts from July and the RBA were obviously involved in that as well. And this is, you know, the bond markets are now predicting pretty severe economic outcomes as a result of this escalation in the trade war, which is now developing into a currency war as well. Now, bond markets have correctly predicted the slowdown in economies so far. They predicted these rate cuts in terms of the way that they were priced heading into these events. And looking forward, they're predicting a, a much darker path. And we fully expect that central banks will need to continue cutting rates globally to try and keep the status quo of the economy just bubbling along uh, as the status quo and not uh, allow for that acceleration to a, a much darker place. The rate cut in New Zealand yesterday is, is very significant. They cut by 50 basis points, which was not expected. Uh, and the Reserve uh, Bank of New Zealand Governor Orr basically said he'll do whatever it takes. He discussed potentially using negative interest rates. This is incredibly uh, you know, important, particularly given that the New Zealand economy tends to lead the Australian economy by about six months. Oh, six to 12 months. And so, you know, Central Bank of New Zealand has been an incredible central bank, uh, the first central bank to actually uh, have an inflation target. Uh, and for this, this move is a big deal. Uh, and certainly uh, we saw a big reaction in Australian interest rates and of course our currency hitting uh, the lows of 2019 yesterday uh, in response to this very, very dovish stance from, uh, from Moore, which is very likely to be similar for Governor Lowe and Australia in time. Well, as we've said, we fully expect that the RBA will need to continue cutting rates. That will be because of the deterioration in the global economy, not necessarily because of the domestic economy, which has lifted a little bit since the election and, and uh, APRO and rate cuts. But clearly, globally, uh, you know, we have had a raft of interest rate cuts this year. It is a very powerful thematic and it's very unlikely to change easily. Uh, the Federal Reserve have only just started cutting interest rates. They've still got a lot of room to go. And clearly we expect them and the RBA to continue to cut, although we do expect the RBA to have a little pause here and not cut again until towards, uh, until towards the end of the year.